Tamika from Children of Christ Homeschool coming at you with another shopping video or shopping haul. Um, this time, what's different is I didn't buy any meat. So you'll notice that no, there is no meat. I've decided to do more vegetarian and vegan cooking um, for my health and to introduce the children to some new and different types of recipes and foods and things like that. So I've got um, a lot of fruits and veggies. We've got our um, Red Delicious apples. We've got two different kinds of grapes, avocados, um, two different kinds of potatoes. And this haul, when I'm done, um, you'll see how much I was able to buy. This haul costs less than $400 and 95% is organic and non-GMO. So um, I buy organic where I cannot get non-GMO. So I've got like three bags of these organic um, oranges, some for juicing, some for eating. Then I've got this little bag. This is for my salads and the kids' salads. And then I've got two bags, two big, huge bags of these uh, bunny organic carrots because this is going to be the base of my juice. I've got my um, green onions for lots of recipes and things like that. I've got more um, organic apples, some blueberries, no, not blueberries, um, what are these things called? Blackberries, my son loves these. And um, an eggplant because I have a recipe for that. And some organic olive oil spray, uh, Pam, for the pan. And then I've got my kale greens. And I've got two bags of these because the kids absolutely love these. And these are also organic. Um, what else did I get? I got romaine lettuce. And then I've got my super greens for juicing and for my salads. And then I've got some um, non-GMO rice blend, which is wild rice. I've got a lot of recipes for that. Unfortunately, I wasn't able to find um, the organic... Um, cheese and because I'm not giving them eggs this month or um, yogurt butter the that type of thing I did go ahead and get the cheese because I am going to make pizza they love making pizza so I don't want to disappoint them with that and then swinging over here I have um, my waffle mix flour for that organic pizza uh oh that we like to make. I've got lots of recipes that use um, vegan recipes that use mushrooms. So I've got some of that and my broccoli slaw. Love that. And I've got egg roll wraps for some of the recipes that I have. And then I've got just a pile of non-GMO and organic vegetables, including corn, leafy blend, sweet peas, green beans, broccoli, and a whole bunch of other stuff up underneath there. And I've got some non-GMO avocado oil, then two bags of organic rice, brown rice, and uh, long grain white rice. Then I've got my tortillas. These, unfortunately, are not organic, but they are no preservatives, no additives, no artificial anything. So I get things as good as I possibly can get, um, as possibly as I can buy them. And I've also got a lot of recipes with pita to uh, make some new different types of sandwiches for the kids. So I've got my uh, pita bread here. Then I've got the roasted garlic um, spaghetti sauce and a couple bottles of the rice vinegar. I love that for my salads. Very tasty. And I've got my soy ginger sauce because we're going to make a lot of fried rice. And then I've got a couple boxes of cereal for them. They love these morning O's. And I don't mind them so much either. I don't eat them, but I don't mind them having them. And then I've got this box of honey rice. And there's a recipe for granola bars that I'm going to make with that. So I needed that. And then I've got underneath here a bunch of cans of organic kidney beans and black beans and different things like that. I very rarely buy canned foods, but... Um, the only food, well, actually, the only food that I will buy pretty much in a can is beans, are beans. And mainly because they take so long to cook in my slow cooker. And I could cook them overnight, but, you know, sometimes I, I want a quick recipe. I like to have my cans of beans, and so I bought a couple of those. And then I have a couple recipes that it's um, 
is going to call for this tomato paste and then instead of I'm replacing my regular cow's milk butter with earth balance butter so I've got that I've got my black bean hummus my agave um, blue light sweetener here for their pancakes and waffles my um, sunflower seeds that's going to go with the baked and toasted kale chips that we're going to make and then pistachios just because well i love pistachios and then i've got some organic uh, nori sushi nori because we're going to make sushi and so i've got some sushi rice for that and then i've got a bottle of ketchup here and so essentially what you see here is four hundred dollars worth uh, less than $400. I'm sorry. Um, I don't remember the exact amount, probably about 368, something like that of groceries. It does not include meat. However, I do have recipes for everything that I bought. And this pretty much should last me for about three and a half weeks. This is about three and a half to four weeks of groceries with the recipes that I have. Plus with um, foods and things that I still already have in the freezer and in my cupboard. So um, I'm going to enjoy cooking. Did I show you my, I've got to have some flavor with this vegan cooking. You know, you've got to have foods with flavor. So I did, I did buy some, where's my seasonings? I don't think I showed you my seasonings. I've got some, um, onion powder, then some curry and ground turmeric because I think with if you with any kind of cooking you definitely want to have flavor but because I'm not adding meat which will you know meat automatically adds fat which adds flavor to food so without the meat um, I don't want the food to be tasteless but anyway I hope you enjoyed this video like comment and subscribe for more videos and I will try to come back with a few recipes of you know some foods that we tried this month. That will be all. Thank you. Thanks for watching. Bye-bye.